All about Humira. An in-depth look at its benefits, side effects and uses. Humira is a biologic drug that has revolutionized the treatment of autoimmune disorders. This medication has proven to be a life-changing treatment for those suffering from Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and other autoimmune disorders. Humira has proven to be an effective and safe treatment for these conditions, and its use is rapidly increasing. It's important for patients to know about the potential benefits and side effects of Humira before starting the medication. This video provides an in-depth look at Humira and its uses, benefits, and side effects. We'll explore how the drug works, what conditions it can be used to treat, and what potential risks and side effects come with it. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of Humira and whether it's the right treatment for you. What is Humira? Humira is a biologic drug used to treat a variety of autoimmune and inflammatory disorders. It works by altering the immune system, decreasing inflammation, and preventing the immune system from attacking healthy tissues. Since Humira is a biologic drug, it is made from living cells and can't be broken down by the body like most medications. Due to these unique characteristics, it has a slower onset of action and a longer duration of effect compared to small molecule drugs. Humira is an injection that is given under the skin once a month. The drug can cost between $10,000 and $20,000 a year and is covered by most insurance plans. The medication comes in several different forms, such as an injection, a subcutaneous continuous infusion, and a weekly injection. How does Humira work? Humira is an immunotherapy medication that works by blocking T cells, which are white blood cells that cause inflammation. It also works to stop other immune cells from attacking the patient's joints and digestive tract. Humira modulates the immune system by targeting T cells that cause inflammation and damage in the body. It does this by binding to T cells and preventing them from attacking healthy cells. Humira can treat a variety of inflammatory and autoimmune disorders, including Crohn's disease, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, hydratinitis suppurativa, ulcerative colitis, and other forms of IBD. What conditions is Humira used to treat? Humira is a medication used to treat a variety of autoimmune and inflammatory disorders. It can be used to treat Crohn's disease, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, hydratinitis suppurativa, and ankylosing spondylitis. Humira is the most widely used biologic therapy. It can be used to treat a wide variety of autoimmune disorders, including inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, and Crohn's disease. Benefits of Humira Treats a wide variety of inflammatory and autoimmune disorders. Humira treats a wide variety of inflammatory and autoimmune disorders, including psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and ankylosing spondylitis. It can also be used to treat a number of other conditions. Helps maintain remission in IBD. Humira can help keep Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis in remission. About 60% of patients with IBD who use this medication can maintain remission. Reduces joint pain in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Humira can help reduce joint pain and improve mobility in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Patients who use it are less likely to experience joint deformities due to the disease. Helps reduce psoriasis symptoms. Humira can help reduce the symptoms of psoriasis, including the formation of scales, itching, and redness. It can also be used to prevent psoriasis in patients who are at risk of developing the condition. Potential Side Effects of Humira Infection. Humira can lower the body's immune system, which makes you more susceptible to infections. You'll need to be especially careful when using this medication, especially if you have cuts or scrapes on your skin. You'll need to make sure you wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your face. Injection site reactions. Some patients may experience redness, swelling, itching, or pain at the site of the injection. If these symptoms don't go away, you should talk to your doctor about changing the site of the injection. Serious infections. Some patients who use Humira develop a serious infection, such as tuberculosis. You'll need to undergo regular screenings for tuberculosis while taking this medication. Allergic reaction. Some patients who use Humira experience an allergic reaction. If you experience a rash, hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the throat, you should stop taking the medication and talk to your doctor. Tumor growth. Humira can increase the risk of developing certain types of tumors, including breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and melanoma. You'll need to get regular screenings while taking this medication, such as a mammogram and colorectal exam. How to use Humira safely. Get vaccinated. Make sure you're up to date on your vaccines before starting Humira. 
This includes your annual flu shot and the measles, mumps, and rubella MMR, vaccine. Wash your hands often. You'll need to make sure you're washing your hands frequently while using Humira. This will help prevent infections and other complications. Meet with a dermatologist. If you have psoriasis, you'll need to see a dermatologist while using Humira. This can help you avoid serious complications and infections. Avoid cuts and scrapes. You should avoid cuts and scrapes while taking Humira. This will lower your risk of infection. See your doctor regularly. You'll need to visit your doctor regularly while taking Humira. This will allow your doctor to assess your progress and check for any potential complications. Potential drug interactions with Humira. Warfarin. You should avoid taking warfarin, Coumadin, while using Humira. This is because the medication can increase your INR levels and cause bleeding. Aspirin. You should avoid taking aspirin while using Humira. This is because the medication can increase your risk of bleeding. Other biologic drugs. You should avoid taking other biologic drugs while taking Humira. This is because the drugs can have an additive effect and increase the risk of serious infections. Humira alternatives. If you're unable to take Humira or want to try a different medication, your doctor may recommend one of the following drugs. Anti-TNF therapy. This is the same type of therapy as Humira. If you aren't able to take Humira, your doctor may recommend another anti-TNF therapy, such as Atanercept, Golimumab, or Adalimumab. Biologic DMARD. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, your doctor may recommend a biologic DMARD, such as Anakinra, Abatacept, or Tocilizumab. Small molecule DMARD. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, your doctor may recommend a small molecule DMARD, such as methotrexate, hydroxychloroquine, or sulfasalazine. What to expect when taking Humira? Mild to moderate pain at the injection site. You'll likely experience a mild to moderate pain at the site of the injection. You can treat this with over-the-counter pain relievers. Mild discomfort in the abdomen. You may experience mild abdominal discomfort while taking Humira. This is usually due to diarrhea caused by the medication. Skin rash. You may experience a skin rash while taking Humira. If the rash is mild, you can treat it with over-the-counter creams. If it's more severe, talk to your doctor. Weight gain. You may experience mild weight gain while taking Humira. Make sure to eat a healthy diet and exercise regularly. You can also talk to your doctor about diet supplements. Joint pain. You may experience joint pain while taking Humira. This is due to metabolic bone disease caused by the medication. 